Hey everybody, Matty here with Altcoin Buzz. Happy Saturday and happy weekend. Today we are discussing all about VeChain. However, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because that's when we'll be giving away this week's Crypto Tag Zeus Starter Kit to one lucky viewer. However, we're doing a deep dive by popular demand into VeChain. We'll let you know what it's all about really from a grassroots level and a one-on-one -on -one perspective. We'll also let you know about VeChain 2.0, which is integrating decentralized finance operations. There are many important supply chain projects out there in the world that either are currently running on blockchain or demand a use case for it. We'll let you know what some of those are. A big part of this is the agriculture and food supply chain markets. They're expected to see a major uptick for these kinds of services between 2020 and 2029. And we'll also discuss what kinds of challenges blockchain for supply chain market may see in the next five years or so. But let's first take a snapshot look at the market on coinmarketcap.com. We're up just a little bit. 257.2 billion dollars total market cap bitcoin more or less flat but up about a half a percentage point since yesterday in these last 24 hours currently sitting at nine thousand three hundred twenty nine dollars with a dominance of 66 percent flat so assuming you've never heard of vchain and for the first time you're learning information about it well it's a blockchain platform designed to enhance supply chain management and business processes its goal is to streamline these processes and information flow for complex supply chains through the use of distributed ledger tech. The VeChain platform has two tokens, the VeChain token, VET, and VeChain Thor Energy, or VTHO. The former is used to transfer value across VeChain's network, and the latter, VTHO, is used as energy or gas to power transactions. VeChain's goal, as stated in its white paper, is, quote, to build a trust-free and distributed business ecosystem platform to enable transparent information flow, efficient collaboration, and high-speed value transfer. Transfers. And what many people don't realize is that supply chain data for business processes are currently compartmentalized in silos among multiple stakeholders. And this affects information flow, which again is divided across those same stakeholders. VeChain, however, according to its own white paper, stands a chance to break the quote asymmetric information problem and allow ownership of data to return to and empower its owner. The VeChain platform claims to provide a 360 degree view of necessary information linked to a product and its business processes. There is a lot that you can do with VeChain, and that is by virtue of the fact that it operates on the blockchain. For example, the platform can be used to track quality, authenticity, storage temperature, transportation medium, and even last mile delivery of a medicine pack or an alcohol bottle right from the manufacturing facility all the way through to the final delivery to the end customer. VeChain accomplishes this by using radio frequency identification, RFID tags, and sensors which broadcast key information information onto the blockchain network that can be accessed in real time by authorized stakeholders. VeChain was founded in 2015 by Sunny Liu, the former chief information officer of Louis Vuitton, China. It started as a subsidiary of Bitsy, one of China's largest blockchain companies. VeChain has amassed some pretty impressive partnerships over the years with several companies in order to help achieve their goals. Among these, the most important one is with accounting firm PricewaterhouseCooper, or PwC, which is also incubating VeChain. The blockchain company has also partnered with Chinese firm Jiangsu Electronics to develop custom RFID chips to use on its platform and car company Renault for its manufacturing operations. VeChain is also the government technology partner for Juwan, an economic development zone for the central government in China. The VeChain Thor blockchain uses proof of authority as a consensus protocol, and as per that system, votes are dispersed based on VET holdings and disclosure. VET holders without KYC and with 1 million tokens in their account are assigned 20% of all votes, while VET holders with KYC, know your customer, and the same amount in their accounts are responsible for 30%. However, there are only 101 master nodes responsible for reaching consensus on transactions in VeChain's blockchain. And this system is different from Bitcoin, as you may know, which requires all nodes to vote on a transaction before reaching consensus. But with all that being said, VeChain 2.0 seems to be right around the corner as they are aiming for the integration of decentralized finance operations. There is a VeChain 2.0 white paper available here, which was released last month in January of 2020. And according to that, the Ethereum-based ERC-20 smart contract will aim to bring revolutionary opportunities for the development of decentralized finance and what the company calls, quote, open finance. 
Just as it so happens, VeChain sits above the 0.6 mark and is up 7.73% in these last 24 hours. With VeChain 2.0, according to its white paper, they are aiming for the modernization of financial operations across the world. And that is a pretty lofty goal and a rather broad one. But the first main objective of VeChain 2.0 will be to employ the benefits of blockchain technology in order to provide a, quote, transparent and trusted data platform for businesses and organizations in the food industry specifically. The goal of this effort will be to provide customers with relevant product data through QR scan and blockchain-based data storage platforms. Other objectives of the updated VeChain platform include optimizations for the automotive sector, fraud prevention, and the creation of a blockchain-based assurances platform called MyStory. However, I think one of the most appealing aspects of this whole VeChain 2.0 scene is they're focused on decentralized finance. VeChain has a, quote, strong belief in open finance. And what VeChain 2.0 will aim to achieve is to provide banks and financial operators with the opportunity to bring efficiency and transparency to their operations through blockchain tech and the VeChain platform. In order to achieve that, VeChain 2.0 will develop a settlement layer consisting of a number of fiat-backed stablecoins, create a data storage layer, and facilitate the development of enterprise financial solutions through their platform. It's also worth noting that VeChain has spotted this market opportunity. They are an early leader in this space, but many other businesses are consolidating around this problem of supply chain logistics as they exist currently in the modern world. And here on altcoinbuzz.io, we highlight the important supply chain projects running on blockchain. There are, in fact, many more than just VeChain. This article by Annie from just yesterday, how can blockchain impact the supply chain? Which projects are important? We take a closer look look. So recently, Altcoin Buzz looked at the advancement of blockchain into different sectors, particularly into decentralized finance and gaming. But here we're looking at another important sector, a very important one where blockchain is going to have a substantial impact. We're talking, of course, about the supply chain, the engine of every business. That said, writes Annie, the DLT powered supply chain projects aim to revolutionize the global supply chain industry with the help of blockchain technology, smart contracts, internet of things and other variables. These projects promise to provide transparency through the system from A to Z. VeChain sits at number two on this list, but we also have Tile, formerly known as Wabi, W-A-B-I. We have TE Food Origin Trail at number four, Ambrosis at number five, ticker AMB at number six, Bext 360, B-E-X-T 360, Cargo Coin at number seven, Cargo X at number eight, Modem at number nine, and Ship Chain, ticker SHIP at number 10. And arguably, VeChain is the most formidable entrant in that list, and it stands to reason that it's because it has developed itself over the years since 2015 and has enjoyed a first mover advantage. But all this to highlight the fact that this is a space that is growing and a lot of people are very keen on this particular business opportunity. In conclusion, writes Annie, unlike in other sectors, the integration of blockchain into legacy industries like the supply chain is relatively complex. The projects mentioned have a humongous task of achieving their vision of becoming an integrated supply chain. While the concepts are interesting and revolutionary, they still require a lot of work, and as such, we will keep an eye on them. Here on the machinesmarket.com, we have a sample version of one of many reports that are conducted in this space, linking blockchain technology to the opportunities that exist in the supply chain world, in the logistics world, which as Annie described, pretty much touches every single industry you can imagine. But some of the most salient features of blockchain in agriculture and food supply chain markets include detailed insights into the opportunities associated with the market, customization as per client requirements, punctual implementation and execution, cost saving and explanatory approach. Cost saving is always a big one. If you can save people money, they will keep coming back to your service or your product. Use of proven research methodologies, client aimed research, and comprehensive overview of the key vendors and competitive landscape. These are just some of the salient features, again, that blockchain brings to the world of agriculture and food supply chain markets. For more information about the project, including their VeChain 2.0 white paper, 
paper covering all aspects of the VeChain Thor blockchain. Do be sure to check out vchain.org. You can also get up to speed on everything that is happening with the company as far as the technology, as far as their governance model, the individuals, be the leadership, of course, behind the project itself. You can get a better sense of their partners, their ambitions, their goals for 2020 and beyond. Without further ado, it's now time to get on to the winner of this week's Crypto Tag Zeus Starter Kit. Since last Saturday, the 25th of January, we produced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos. Those are the numbers I'm going to ascribe to those videos. The most recent one from yesterday, Friday, being number seven. The one from last Saturday being number one. Now we have our handy dandy random number generator with a minimum of one and a maximum of seven. We will generate the following number at random. Number four, that corresponds to video one two three four from the 28th of january bitcoin bullish over nine thousand dollars i'm going to open up that video as you can see here this is all done in real time no shenanigans no smoke and mirrors i'm going to take the url of this video copy that and pause this while i'm at it we're now going to go into our raffle dash input the url paste that in and the winner of this week's crypto tag zeus starter kit is dylan fowler congratulations brother with this comment when it comes to alts dgb referring to digibyte is numero uno dylan you've won this week's crypto tag zeus starter kit make sure you get in touch with us using our coordinates which can be found in the description of this video we'll start a dialogue with you get your information and make sure we have everything we need to ship out your crypto tag zeus starter kit as soon as possible and speaking of DGB. It's a very appropriate segue because you guys have spoken out. You're very interested in a deep dive, a similar video to today's on Digibyte. Stay tuned for that in the very near future. But for now, everybody, that about wraps things up. That's all that is fit to discuss today. Do be sure you're following us on all the regular social media channels and keep checking back into Altcoin Buzz. Dot io for all the latest if you enjoyed this video go ahead like subscribe share and hit the bell to receive notifications best of luck if you've chosen to invest on this saturday but have a great weekend everybody and as always we really do hope to see you again soon in our next video take care